doubt about it, Steve Johnson of Salem, Oregon has the fever for garden tractors. He started collecting back in 1995 and he finds something to appreciate in all of them, whether he's driving his unusual looking Gilson Pacer, a three-wheeled David Bradley sold by Sears back in the day, or an all-original 1960s era simplicity. Steve enjoys all these small wonders, but if you force him to pick a favorite, he might have to go with the Bolin's Ride-O-Matic. These are uh, Bolin's Ride-O-Matics. Uh, Bolin's built these from 1956 through 1962, uh, and I've got uh, at least one of uh, each year restored. Uh, some of them are up at the show, but this is what's still here at home. You can see on the shelf, uh, this one's a 1958, this one's a 57, this one's a 59. The gold one on the far right up on the shelf is a 1961. Uh, this one is another 1958. And then this one is a 1960. My uh, 1956 and 62 are out at the show. And uh, uh, these are probably, this set of tractors is probably the favorite tractors that I have. Uh, they're really kind of neat looking and I, I really enjoy them. On the day we visited Steve, he had a portion of his garden tractor collection on the grounds of the Great Oregon Steam Up. And unfortunately, his Bolin's Ride-O-Matic tractors weren't running, but they still looked good, and we learned all about them. Well, the, the one I'm sitting on is a 1956 Bolin's Ride-O-Matic. It was the very first model that they made when they started making the little conventional four-wheel four -wheel tractors. The one to my left is a 1962, which was the last year for the Ride-O-Matic line. They made for seven years and they had seven different models, but this is the first and the last one. Uh, the one I'm sitting on has a 3.6 horsepower Kohler engine. It has just a variable speed drive. Uh, they made attachments such as a moor deck that would go out in the front, plows, discs, cultivators for the back. Uh, but it was their very first uh, uh, into the little four-wheel uh, garden tractors. Small, simple, and sturdy, the 1956 Bolin's Ride-O-Matic was built in Port Washington, Wisconsin, and Steve really likes the almost Art Deco 1950s design of this tractor. The cast uh, uh, grills really gave them a, a different look and uh, uh, gave them some styling. Uh, they'd be just as useful if there was no grill or hood on them, but they would not have much character. The air cleaner comes up through the hood, which is kind of a unique look to it. And you've got your cast, this one's aluminum grill, and then your hood, and then the gas tank makes up what would be kind of the dash or the end of that that gives it the whole look. This is your uh, uh, nice looking uh, guard for to keep you out of the belts. But this is what makes it go. When you push this in and let it go up, the further up you go, the faster it will go, and that is your speed change. And then you've got your uh, lift lever to lift your attachments. You've got your throttle. And then this one, of course, is the pull start. And you've got a choke lever on the carburetor. And so this is how you would start it. With a wide variety of attachments available, the 1956 model was popular. In 1962, the last tractor in the Ride-O-Matic series was offered, and by then, Bolin's had made quite a few changes and upgrades. This one is the 56, and that one's the 62, and the, the things that came along was it got a little bigger and a little heavier. Uh, this one went from a 3.6 horsepower up to a 7 horsepower, so they almost doubled the power. This is the 62 Ride-O-Matic, the last year they made them. It's got a little bigger engine, but they, they made the grill wider to try to conceal more of the engine and, and just give it a much beefier look. Um, this one has, uh, has the starter generator, so it has a guard on each side to cover the belt for the starter and the belt for the, the drive. For the driver, you've got an on and off switch, a starter button, you've got a choke and a throttle, of course the steering wheel, you've got the lift lever. This is the transmission. You've got uh, high and low and reverse. And then this is basically your clutch and it operates the variable pitch pulley. So the further you shove it up, the faster it goes. Uh, this engages your moor deck or whatever snowblower that the PTO is attached to. And then there, this one has the rear fenders, which gives just a little more protection for the operator. And there again, you've got a pan seat and you've got your battery box. And then this is where a tiller would attach or a plow. And then this is hooked to your lift arm 
to raise and lower those. And uh, this one has the wheel weights front and rear, which are an option. This tractor originally came with a tiller, and they recommended the wheel weights on the front so that it wouldn't be so light on the front end when the tiller was up, so you could still steer it. Most people didn't buy them, but they uh, kind of give it a, a rugged look with the wheel weights on it. Of course, Bolins went on to build and sell many more garden tractors that are popular with collectors today, but Steve will always have a soft spot in his heart for those rugged yet stylish ride -o I really like the fact that these they look so neat. Um, you know, there's other tractors a little more modern that are a little, little easier to use, but uh, these really have what I think is a neat look to them. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If you'd like to see more great garden tractors, be sure to check out these other features. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those Classic Tractor stories rolling.